You tweeted uh, a couple months ago, Tesla's not a company. It's like six companies inside of a company. Like you've had yeah, to build this. Yeah, maybe more. Can you just explain to people all these companies inside this super company, just so folks have a sense of what had to be done to get here? Okay. I mean, this, this question requires thought, and I'll probably be leaving out uh, quite a few things. But if you look at, say, what, what does a typical uh, car company do? Uh, what, what they do is they, they, um, they, they, they assemble vehicles, um, and they send them to dealers, and they manage the supply chain. Uh, the, the, they, they might make the engine, uh, to, or typically will make the engine, but most of the parts are made by suppliers. Um, and a, a lot of the actual technology development is done by suppliers, and most of the most of the vehicle software is done by suppliers. So the actual amount of uh, real work done by car companies, uh, what you think of sort of like a GM or Ford, is not actually that much. Um, and but they, like so, they don't do they don't do uh, sales, they don't do service. Um, they uh, so so in the case of Tesla, for example, we we do we we, we do our own sales and service. Uh, we don't have dealerships. Um, then uh, Tesla also has by far the biggest network of superchargers, sort of the ele electric equivalent of gas stations. So we built an entire global supercharger network, which is still the most advanced and by far the best uh, way to, to charge your car when traveling long distance or if you live in a city um, and, uh, and don't have the ability to charge your car because of street parking or, or an apartment. So the whole supercharger network, we, we developed the supercharger network. We de deployed it. I think we have, I don't know, 15,000 superchargers globally. Um, you can travel anywhere in America right now with uh, uh, the Tesla supercharger network. Um, then, uh, in terms of vertical integration, uh, we, uh, we make the, the, the battery pack, uh, the, the power electronics, the drive unit, um, we, uh, we actually make, we're, we're, we're more integrated in, in the parts. We actually make so much of the car, uh, internally, uh, we're vertically integrated, um, not necessarily because we, we just, we think that there's, there's some religious reason to be vertically integrated, but because, uh, we, the pace at which we needed to move was just much faster than the supply chain could move. And to the degree that you inherit the legacy supply chain, you inherit, inherit the legacy constraints, including their speed, uh, cost, and, uh, and technology. And then Tesla is as much a software company as it is a hardware company. So the software that runs in Tesla it operates the car, operates the, the screen, uh, does the charging. Uh, all of that stuff is developed by Tesla. And um, so we have sort of a car, a Tesla OS in the car. When um, you... I, I, could, I could go on for a long time. And then very importantly, uh, Tesla has built uh, an, uh, an autopilot AI team from scratch. Uh, that is the best real world AI team on earth. Um, and if anyone else has got a better one, I'd like to see it demonstrated in a car. Um, the, the, yeah. the, the full self-driving beta at this point uh, uh, can uh, very often take you with zero interventions across the Bay Area from San Jose to Marin. So through, through complex traffic, it's really quite sophisticated. Um, and I invite anyone to, to join the beta or, or look at the videos of those who are in the beta. We've got like 100,000 people in the beta, so it's not tiny. And we'll be expanding that to, I don't know, probably a, a million people or, or a million, I don't know, so on that order uh, by the end of the year. So um, it's... Um, you had this slide. We, we also we also built a chip team to, because there wasn't, yeah. there wasn't hardware to, that we could run the friggin' uh, AI on, uh, we, we couldn't just uh, fill the trunk with a whole bunch of GPUs. Um, and, and uh, you know, that, they would, would have created a trunk full of GPUs that would have been very expensive and take massive amount of power and cooling uh, just to, to be able to do what the Tesla designed uh, full self driving computer can do. So, it, and we started a chip team from scratch, designed it. It was the best in the world and still is the best in the world as, as, several years later. Um, and we also then developed, we were designing a, a dojo uh, supercomputer to be able to process the, um, all the video that's coming in from billions of miles of data, because just sort of like the way that, that it's very difficult to compete with Google because they have so much data and they have all the people doing searches all the time and, and humanity is training it. But the same is true of, of, of Tesla. You really need billions of miles, and ultimately tens of billions of miles of training data combined with a, a sort of a vast training computer and then uh, optimize uh, inference hardware in the car um, and state-of-the-art AI and training and specialized software across the board to be able to achieve a full self-driving solution.